Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I also advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. Enjoy the tutorial. What is up beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer here and today I have another treat for you in this episode of Jeffrey Gamer Tutorials. Um, as I always say, you know what I like to do. I'm all about realism of the game. Um, this could be a story, a story mode, uh, tutorial. It could be an LSPDFR tutorial. Um, these, uh, mods, these map, uh, mods that I'm going to show you, um, can add realism to any patrol, your story, uh, you know, your story mode, or if you're just cruising around Los Santos as Franklin, Michael, or Trevor, these mods are absolutely awesome, and it just adds such realism to your game. And those mods are Real California Architect, uh, City Lights, Forests of San Andreas, and LA Roads. Okay, guys? So I'll, I'll describe them. I'll explain them a little bit as we download them and install them. Plus, there is going to be a... Uh, uh, in-game showcase of these mods this is going to be a lengthy tutorial um, but that's only because I like to be super thorough and I like to go in the game and show you that it works so I will timestamp uh, the in-game uh, showcase in case you want to uh, just jump to that and see what it looks like before you decide if you want to install it um, that's totally up to you big shout out to the true uprising as um, he was the person that I first learned about these mods from and I first installed them. So I want to take that and I want to pass it on to you guys because I think they're absolutely awesome. I've had these mods installed in my game since I first put it in, you know, since I first installed LSPDFR. Never had any issues with them, but of course I'll explain how to take them out in case you don't like them. Okay, guys. So the first download I want you to do because it takes a little longer than the other ones. Uh, but it's going to be the last one that we install. So we're going to download this one first. Click the link that says LA Roads. Okay. That's going to bring you to this page right here. It's a big file. Um, that's why it takes a little bit to, uh, to, um, for it to download. Um, as you can see, it's going to change the whole look of all of your roads in Grand Theft Auto. I mean, it'll have the, the tar patches, potholes. Uh, the crosswalks, the gutters, they're all completely different. They look like the real LA roads. Um, so go ahead and click this download link, the green download button. It's going to bring you to this page right here. You don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to create an account or anything like that. You're just going to click this uh, turquoise save button. And what it's going to do is it's going to show you, I don't want to download it because I already did. Right up at the top here, it's going to show you the, the, the download and when it's done downloading, if you use WinRAR, it's going to shoot your download right down here when it's done. Okay, just like all the other downloads that you're used to seeing. Um, so once you click it, you'll see the progress bar show up at the top of the screen right here. Once it's complete, it'll shoot it down here above your, uh, above your tab or wherever you have your WinRAR downloading your files to. Okay, so go ahead and start that one now. Okay, then the next one that I want you to click is going to be real california architect and that'll bring you to this right here and the more noticeable differences with this mod is it changes all of the stuff on your map cnn building uh la county department of medical examiner the coroner capitol records uh the muscle beach state venue in venice um the hollywood wax museum it's got locations and stores all throughout San Andreas that you wouldn't even know. You will notice once you see them, but you, you, trust me, it's great. But the more noticeable ones that people have mentioned when they see my videos is it gives you the Hollywood sign. It changes the street signs to look like uh, real Los Angeles street signs. It changes the Del, Del Toro Pier, Del, Tor, Del, Del Toro Pier to the real Santa Monica, to the real sign that's in LA. Um, it gives you an AMC movie theater, uh, 
just it's it's got the Beverly Hills um, sign. It's got a lot, guys, and it's absolutely awesome. So go ahead and hit that download button. <laughs> and once you do that, that one will actually bring your download up down here where your Win WinRAR usually downloads or it'll put it to your desktop again, wherever you have it saved to go to, okay? Then once that downloads, you're going to want to go ahead and do the City Lights. Click that, and that's going to bring you to this page. City Lights is absolutely beautiful. Um, this will add street lights to, uh, maybe it says it right here. I want to say it's, uh, well, it, it, it's got lighting to all of this stuff here, but mirror park, the most noticeable one is on the highway. And I'll show you guys at nighttime. It's absolutely amazing. I actually have a video. One of my first videos I uploaded, like I told you, I've had this installed since, I first started recording videos and I actually have a video that showcases all these stuff, but I'm still going to do it again for the purpose of this. Okay. Um, so go ahead again, hit that download button, let your download start going and it'll save it down here or wherever you have it saved. Okay. And finally, you're going to want to download, go click the forest of San Andreas link. Okay. And that's going to bring you to right here. Now, these are what you called YMAP uh, add-ons, okay? It just, it changes. You don't have to load it. None of that. Once you go into your game, they they load all the time. You don't have to do it through a trainer, through menu, through simple trainer. It will always load up in your game, and it's absolutely awesome. This changes a lot of vegetation in your game. Um, you could see it adds trees in that. Uh, all up around Joshua Road and stuff like that. It's so, so awesome, so beautiful. There's a couple of different types of trees you can pick, okay? Um, again, click that download, download that one, and let that download keep going. And that is it for your downloads, folks, okay? Now, what you are going to need is you are going to need your Open IV, okay? You're definitely going to need your Open IV. And not only are you going to need your open IV, but you are going to need to put inside of your GTA file, you are going to have to put your time 68 and your update folder inside your mods folder. Okay. And how you do that is you right click 64 copy, double click your mods folder, right click paste. Okay. Then you're going to want to go back and you're going to want to go to update left click it to highlight it right click it to copy double click your mods folder right click paste you'll see a green progress bar start going uh, i could take up to 15 minutes for them both to copy into your mods folder but you definitely need to do that i will also link a uh video below that uh shows you how to do that and shows you how to also back up your game files in case uh you know something in case you do something wrong and or you don't like it or it messes with the performance of your game um i've never had anything like that happen with mine but i will show you a little trick while we're here right now okay you're gonna want to go to your grand theft auto main directory okay so go to your main directory this is where you're gonna have your uh, your elbow and your ELS and your uh, Rage plug-in hook and all that other good stuff. You're going to want to go to these folders up here and you're going to want to double click the LSPDFR folder, okay? Double click that. Now what you want to do is you want to double click this LSPDFR. The one with the little sprocket and it says LSPDFR. Double click that. Okay, and this file right here, main dot preload all models equals yours might say true all you're going to want to do is just backspace till the t goes away and just type in false all lowercase letters then you're going to go up here and you're going to save it this gives you uh way less of a chance of getting texture loss some people might get texture loss if they're installing these y map um, add-ons Texture loss is you're driving and your roads disappear, your buildings disappear. It's because your computer can't uh, handle the amount of 
uh, visual data that is now in your game. So um, a lot of people change this to false and it clears it right up, okay? So definitely do that. It's not gonna hurt your game. It's only gonna make it better if your computer can't handle these uh, mods. And if it can't and this doesn't help, I'll show you how to take them out. No big deal, okay guys? Okay, so now that we're done with that, um, we're done with that. Like I said, in the description below, there will be links on how to uh, install OpenIV, create the mods folders, um, put the Time64 and the update inside your mods folder. So <clears throat> definitely you need those before you do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open, you know what, let me double check and make sure that my, okay, okay, my microphone, sorry. My microphone is on, so. Uh, open up your open IV. And click Windows. Now, I already have all of this installed in my game, as I said, okay? So, um, what I am going to do is, I'm still gonna show you how to put the stuff in, I'm just not gonna save it myself. So when you, not, when you don't see me saving it, you're gonna save it and I'll make sure to tell you to save it, okay? So, if we're at this point, by now you have all of your, all four of your downloads ready. You have them down here in your little, uh, your little WinRAR box there, or whatever zip uh, downloader uh, you use. And uh, first one we're gonna do is going to be uh, the RCA RAR. Okay, so click your RCA RAR, and we're gonna bring that over here. So it's a little easier to work with, okay? First thing you wanna do, click that edit mode, right? Okay, so click the edit mode, click yes, and we are ready to install the real California Architect. Again, this is the one with the Hollywood sign and all that other good stuff, okay? The only folder we are gonna need in here is RCA, and we need to take this and put this in our DLC packs, okay? The pathway to get to your DLC, uh, to get to your DLC packs is going to be this, okay? You're gonna click mods. Then you are going to click update. Now this is why I told you you have to, let me go back, let me go back. This is why when I click mods, this is why you have to copy and paste the time 64 and the update folder into your mods folder in your main directory like I just showed you. This is why you have to do it, okay? So again, sorry. You're gonna click mods. You're gonna click update. You're gonna click time 64, DLC packs. Now right here, what I want you to do, do this right now. Go to your favorites, click add to favorites, and it's gonna say DLC packs and GTA 5. Save it, okay? Or hit add. Now I already have it saved in my, um, right here. I already have it saved in mine. We're gonna be coming back to this like three other times. So definitely save it so you can just go up to your favorites, click it, and it'll bring you right to here. There's another pathway I'm gonna have you guys save and I'll show you that once we get there. Okay, so this is what is called your DLC packs. In all of these files, you're gonna have a folder that is gonna have the name of what we're installing. And if you double click it, it's gonna have a DLC.RPF. Usually if you see a DLC.RPF, that means you gotta take that folder and put it over here in your DLC uh, packs uh, open IV. So go back to where you see RCA and you got the yellow folder there. You see the yellow folder RCA. Now down here in mine, I already have it. It's going to be this simple folks. You are going to take this RCA folder, bring it right here, drag it to right here, you know, left click, hold it, drag it and drop it just let go of the button and let it drop right in guys okay once you have that dropped in that part is done next thing you want to do is double click this installation underscore uh eng english dot txt installation underscore english dot txt double click that you are going to look for this new line right here add new line okay you are going to highlight this entire line right here from uh, less than item all the way to more than item, okay? This line right here. Right click it, copy it, okay? 
exit out of that. We are all set with the WinRAR. We can exit out of that. Okay. Now, here's the pathway that you want to take to get to where we got to go next. Okay. So, we're going to double click mods over here. So, it brings us back to the beginning. Okay. And we are going to want update. Down here, you're going to want update.rpf. Then you're going to want common and data. Okay. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see dlclist.xml. You are going to left click it once to highlight it. Then you're going to right click it and go up to edit. Okay, guys? Right there, just like that. That's going to bring up this box right here. We're going to be doing this three other times. So by the last time, you're going to be a pro at this, okay? This, These two steps is usually how you put any DLC content into your game, okay? You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you have your last line. I don't know why that makes my... Yours is probably going to look something like this, right? <laughs> so, what we want to do is right on this last line where it says item whatever yours might say dlc packs see mine mine says something different because i have something different installed in my game uh or i installed something later than you did but you're just going to click at the end of this last line here not paths the last line above paths just click it so your text uh bar is right there now once you're there you're just going to hit enter that's going to bring up a whole new line for you right here folks okay what you're going to do is you are simply just going to right click and you're going to paste that that line that we copied in the readme file the english.txt file paste so yours should say item dlc packs colon semicolon forward slash rca forward slash and then item again okay boom you now have real california architect in your game super easy right super easy you're going to go ahead and click save. I am not going to click save because I already have it in. As you can see, mine is uh, right here. RCA City Lights Forest LA Roads. So I already have all mine in. So you're going to click save. I'm going to cancel out. And that, folks, is all you need to do for that. Okay? Double click your mods. Wait, wait, wait. Don't double click your mods yet. Okay? Go up to favorites and add to favorites data and update.rpf like i said we're going to be coming back to this add that to your favorites okay guys that way you don't have to go through all the pathways as we install the rest of these mods now double click your mods folder so it brings you back to the beginning now next one that i want you to bring up is going to be city lights okay bring up your city lights winrar okay bring that right over here now, <laughs> we are going to be doing the manual install, okay? So, double-click manual install. Then double-click LED lights. We want medium LOD. And here's your city lights folder. Inside this folder is going to be a dlc.rpf. So, what did we say? Go back so that it just says city lights with the yellow folder and that's the one with the dlc.rpf in it okay so once you have once you're right here next to this go over to your favorites and what do we want to do folks dlc packs and gta 5 remember i told you to save it to your favorites okay click that if you don't remember if you didn't save it if you went against my uh instructions to save it it's going to be mods update time 64 dlc packs okay now in here if you scroll down you should already see your rca in there okay same thing folks left click it and hold it drag it over to here let go of that left button and drop her on in okay once you do that you are all set with this screen right here now we're going to go back in our winrar okay go back again go back again till you get to right here installation double click installation Okay, here we go. Now, what we're looking for is we're looking for that line again that says item DLC packs. So if you look in here, there's manual installation. 
it's going to tell you where to go and here's our line right here guys okay usually the modders will keep these lines very separated from everything else okay so you don't confuse it with anything else because if you take this and you highlight all this stuff and copy it you're going to mess something up even if you uh copied all this blank space here you're going to mess it up make sure you're only copying from that greater than sign to this less than sign that's all you want right click it copy it you can exit out of that you can exit out of your let me just make sure yes you can exit out of your winrar again go to your favorites and what do we want guys you got it we want data was it data and update that yes you want to go to the one that you just saved um data and update that rpf and we want to scroll down and if you didn't save this one again it's going to be mods update update that rpf common data scroll on down here to dlc list.xml left click it right click it edit scroll on down here again again that brings my line over there i just don't know what it doesn't affect my game i mean i got my L la lafa 2k but it just bothers me that all these are nice and lined up and that one's not so by now yours should you should have the uh rca line right here so same thing you're going to go to the end there and you're going to click that so you got your blinking uh text line there and you're going to hit enter to create a new line same thing guys right click paste it okay now you should say uh less than item dlc packs semicolon left uh uh backslash now i know the forest one might say forward slash which i believe it does that's okay leave it as is as you can see uh i got some that are backslash or forward slash leave it however the creator has it okay uh and it'll say city lights and item again once you do that you're good to go you're gonna click save i'm not because mine's already in and once you click that boom your city lights are added all right so let's keep while we're in a roll man let's keep going forests of san andreas is going to be the next one i want you to bring up bring that on over uh double click your mods folder so you can go back to the front page there over in your winrar click the forest of san andreas volume 2.1 now the only thing i know you see a lot in here the only folder we're gonna have to go into there's optional and uh forest that's all you don't need to worry about that's a lot of 5m stuff you're just going to need to click the trees folder okay now when i when i installed i actually installed this one twice because before it only had cedar or redwood the cedar has got you know the shorter trees more green the redwoods are those tall tall california trees super tall trees okay um that uh, you know, you see in California it's, and it's got the leaves way at the top of them, or you've got mixed. I like, I chose the mixed ones. Okay. So whichever one you pick is going to have a forest folder in it. If we pick mixed, oh, okay. This version has more. Yeah. So it's going to say, if you pick the mixed one, uh, this one will have more cedar trees in the forest. This one will have more of the redwood trees in the forest. So whatever you pick, it's going to have a forest folder in it. Okay. If you pick that one, it'll have forest folder. And if you go down to Redwood and pick it, it'll have your forest folder. Okay. Now, before we install this, I want to put a little bit of a disclaimer in here. Okay, guys. There is a mission in story mode that requires you to fly a plane low. Uh, I think it's the mission where... Um, if you haven't done it yet, there's going to be a mission where you have to follow a Meriwether cargo plane. And it's a mission with Trevor. And you have to fly low to um, stay off the radar of Meriwether. Okay. <laughs> now, obviously, the creators of, the, of Grand Theft Auto Rockstar, when they created it, they created your pathway that you're probably going to take in the game to not have trees in the way. This kind of puts trees in your way. The mission is passable because I, I passed it, but it is tricky. It is 
Uh, it does take the skill level up a little bit, but it's doable. Still worth it to put it in, but if that's something you don't want to have to deal with, beat the game first, then install this one in if you want to, and then you're good to go. Okay, guys? So, um, pick whichever one you want. Uh, if you pick mixed, uh, do you want more cedar? Do you want more redwood? Just pick whatever. And there's the forest folder, and inside, you got it, dlc.rpf. So you click back. Okay, go over here to your open IV, go to favorites and DLC packs in GTA 5 under your favorites. Click that. Now in here, you are now going to have your, you'll see uh, your city lights will be in there and your RCA will be in there. And now we are going to take this folder pack, left click it, hold it, drag it, let go of the left button and drop it on in there. Okay, guys. Then go back, back back till you get to right here and you are going to click the read me text okay double click that and as you may have guessed already we are looking for our line here guys so ah there it is now this now he didn't really uh he, it's kind of hidden in here but you see it you'll see installation and then right here under line two okay you are going to highlight just that okay there it is right there right click copy you can x out of this you can x out of your winrar go to favorites and you are going to go to data and update the rpf and that is going to bring you again to our DLC list.xml. Left click it once to highlight it, right click it, edit. Same thing, guys. I know for me, yep, I'm going to have to move this line back over because I'm not saving mine. Okay. Now, at this time, you are going to see RCA right here. Then you'll see city lights. So you want to go to the end of that city lights line and hit enter. So it brings up your whole new line here. Right click paste just like that you always want these items dlc pack and the colons and then the last item you know with the slat you always want those to look and line up at least these first ones okay once you got that in click save i won't click it because i already have it okay and that is it we already installed three major changes into your map all right guys it's crazy okay now, if I remember correctly, the LA Roads is going to be a little bit different, okay? Same process, but I don't believe they they added that little line that we have to copy. So I will show you that. There is a way around that, guys, okay? So lastly, double-click or go down to your WinRAR. Last one we got is LA Roads, okay? Bring that over here. Now, as I said, there's only one folder in here, okay? So go to Favorites. And you're going to want to go to DLC packs in GTA 5. So it brings us right back here. If you didn't save it in your favorites, it's mods, update, time 64, DLC packs. It'll bring you right here. Double click on LA Roads, and there's your DLC.RPF. Now, take this LA Roads folder. You know, we're always going to take the folder that has the DLC.RPF in it. Left click and hold it, drag it over here. Let go of that left button and drop it in. In this case, do not get with it. Get rid of. <laughs> do not get rid of your WinRAR just yet. Okay, we are going to need this. Now that you have LA Roads installed in here, it'll probably show it at the bottom unless it uh, alphabetizes it for you right away. It'll be right there. Go to favorites. Go to data and update.rpf. You guessed it. Scroll on down to DLC list.xml. And if you didn't save the pathway, it's going to be mods, update, update.rpf, common data. Okay. Left click it to highlight it. Right click it to edit. Go up here. Click edit. Now, what you are going to do, okay, is. 
you are going to take the last one that you installed, which is going to be your forest of San Andreas, okay? Now, I am going to pretend that this one, instead of it saying LAFA2K underscore animated, I'm going to pretend that it says forest. Or, you know what? I'll just do it. Here's the forest one right here, okay? You know what better yet? Do your city lights. You see where your city lights line is. I want you to highlight that whole city lights line. Pretty much the entire thing that you pasted in for city lights. Do you see it there? City lights. Yours is probably going to be like more closer to the bottom. Okay. Once you have that entire line from the less than sign all the way to the greater than sign. City lights. Go ahead and copy that. Okay. Now, right, you probably have a uh, forest of San Andreas. So your city lights will be right here. Mine says JDM rims. Yours probably says city lights. Highlight that entire line. Go to your next line at the end where it says Forest of San Andreas. Click the end there after you copied that uh, city lights one. Hit enter. You're going to create a whole new line. Now, go ahead and right click, paste. So now you're going to have two city lights files, lines in your game. Okay. Yours is probably going to say city lights, Forest of San Andreas city lights that's cool don't worry about it now what you're going to do go back over to your winrar click la roads once wait a second and then click it again and it's going to make it so it's already highlighted okay if it's not just highlight this right here okay then you're going to copy this okay once you have that copied come on over to here and you want to highlight just the city lights word do not highlight the backslashes here okay you are only going to highlight from this you're only going to highlight the c-i-t-y-l-i-g-h-t-s that is it right click on that paste it okay you want your line to look just like this okay you're going to have the less than item greater than DLC packs semicolon backslash capital L A underscore capital R O A D S backslash less than forward slash item greater than. Okay. Just like that guys, that's how you want this line to work. So now you should have L A roads forest above that city lights above that RCA above that. They should all be lined up right here on the side. And your path should be, you know, just like this. Go ahead, click that save. I am not. Okay. And then if you want to make sure it took, you can double click this. Okay. And just check it. Scroll on down and you'll see that it took and that they're all in there. Okay. So exit out of that. You can exit out of your WinRAR. And you can uh, double click mods. Or you could go up to file and close all archives. Click your edit mode because we are all done with that. And you can go ahead and exit out of your open IV. And folks, <laughs> this is where we will go into the game and I will show you what you just did for your Grand Theft Auto. I'll see you in there. All right, folks, so here we are in the game. And let me start off by showing you the... Uh, the real LA roads okay as you can see you can see a lot of uh, tar patches where they might have came in and just patched up half the road um, you can see right here to the left you got that big pothole there um, you know just just markings you see the gutters are a lot different they're, they're like they're like outlined you know and you got shoddy patchwork like this right here and I mean all the roads in the game are now like that that's why i said it's a big file you can see the roads here the crosswalks are different um but it, it's just it's just fucking awesome man i mean it's just awesome when you are patrolling the realism it adds to your patrols oh boy i got vehicle god mode on so that's great 
And while we're right here, as you can see, there is your Hollywood sign that you just installed in the game. And I mean, you can go, you can go right up to it, guys. And I mean, it looks like, it looks like the creators of Rockstar put this in. You know what I mean? Oh, there's Capitol Records right here. That was another thing that we changed. Um, yeah, so let's get a little closer to the Hollywood sign. Tried to grab the, the quickest helicopter. When I show you the pier, I'm just going to, I'll just edit out the whole, you know. <laughs> so there's your Hollywood sign. Okay. And let's take a look at the Hollywood sign. Uh, let's take a look at the Hollywood sign at night. Oh, there it is, guys. How awesome is that? Look at that. That's so, that's so fucking cool. Okay, so I am going to fly over to the pier to show you guys that sign because that's another cool sign. And uh, I'll just edit this out. You know what? We'll just take a little ride. Who cares? You don't have to go through this. You don't have to watch this. I just like to show people, you know, what they're getting on our way. Just go ahead and take a look at the real LA roads on the way there, man. This is just... This is insane, and if you have Make Visuals Great Again installed into your game, it just looks even better, okay? It, it's just, it just looks awesome. Um, if you're interested in knowing how to do Make Visuals Great Again, let me know, and I will, uh, I can show you how to install it. It's super easy to do, you just gotta make sure your computer uh, can handle it, that's all. So, I know right here, yep, if you look to the left right here, this is where you're going to see the uh, AMC movie theater, which is right here. That's part of the uh, the architect. And then let's go down here, and you now have your new Santa Monica pier sign. Okay, and we're just going to go right here, and we'll do the same thing. I'll show you what it looks like at night. And there you go. And that is the real true to life sign that is on the Santa Monica Pier, Yacht Harbor Sport Fishing Boating Cafes. There it is, folks. Okay. And lastly, we can look at both of these. Uh, we're gonna go over here to the highway and I am going to show you the city lights um, as well as the forest. And while we're on the highway, I can also, let me just make sure we're going the, oh yeah, we want to go up here. We want to go right up here. We want to go right here. I'm glad I looked because I was doing a lot of unnecessary flying right there. Okay. Oh, there's my billboards. I always like to show off my billboards, man. And with these billboards, I have a tutorial on these billboards and you can put any picture any picture that you want you can put in these billboards man and it'll scroll through um there's my logo jeffrey gamer benny's original so santos yeah i just threw some in there but i definitely wanted to put my logo in there all right so let's shoot on over to the highway and another thing you will notice is you can already see the forest from here you see that look at all them trees back there and another thing you will notice are the uh, part of the real California architect are the um, the uh, the street signs, the highway signs, and all that. Melrose Ave, uh, San Bernardino. You know these have all been changed now. So it's like it's like super true to life, guys. Okay. San Bernardino, Hollywood, next exit. So all those have been changed. And then as we come up here near the forest, this is where it's just gonna blow your guys' mind, man. So here you see the forest. And just look at the roads, man. Look at the roads. It's just so wow. It's just I don't know. I can't get you know. 
So there's your redwoods and your cedars that are mixed in. These are your redwoods, these tall trees right here, okay? Now, let's go to nighttime and let's show you your new lights that you now have on your highway. Look at these LED lights. And as you go down, as you start going further and further down, they're going to go from this kind of this soft white or this yellow look. If you look down there, you could already start to see the uh, LED lights that are now installed. And look at the way it just lights up this, this highway. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool, eh? And if we go back to if we go back to afternoon. Okay, let's get out of the trainer there. Look at this, all this new all this new forest right here. Okay, this is all new forest right here. Like I said, the prison, which was once, you know, just arid land, now has trees that surround the whole prison now. And they're all back there. You can see them all along the uh, mountain line there. All this new forest. It, it's so cool. Instead of all this just being open and bland, I don't know if this is what it really looks like in California or if this is just something that somebody added on. But I thought it was cool to add in on this tutorial. Um, and why not? Okay. Now... If you don't like what you have, or if you have any issues with this, okay, all you have to do is you go to your favorites like we showed, and you are going to uh, go to your DLC list .rpf, and you're going to take out the folder. Let's say you don't like the forest, okay? You're going to go to your DLC .rpf favorite, and you are going to uh, you are going to look for the forest folder okay and you're just gonna right click it and delete it then what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go to your DLC uh, DLC list.xml where we had to put in the uh, less than and greater than you know those lines that we put in you're gonna go to the forest line you're gonna select it highlight it delete it save it and that'll take the forest out or any of these mods it'll take right out of your game you're just going to reverse the steps that we took to put them in okay that simple guys so that is about it again big shout out to uh true uprising um you know his link is in my description he's one of my youtube brothers uh so um definitely check him out I hope you like this mod. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. If you're new here, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe, slap that like button, and ring that bell so that you know when new tutorials and new content is added. I've also been dabbling in a little bit of uh, Warzone with my son and uh, you know my nephews, and um, so I've been playing around doing that live. Uh, so there's definitely going to be more of those, and uh, we're closing in on 200 subscribers. So. That's going to be another giveaway. I've already got the giveaway prizes being delivered to my house. I'm going to box them up. And that box is just going to be waiting for your postage label to be on it if you uh, win the giveaway. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be safe. Be healthy. Follow the rules and obey the law. Until next time, guys. Jeffrey Gamers out. Deuces. Peace. Go enjoy the scenery a little more.